Hello, everybody. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast. Today with me, I have Michael Kromarczyk. He is the main support and even a designer and product guru at HCP. Uh, Michael, what is your official title? Uh, man with a lot of hats. <laughs> Okay, Michael Kromarczyk, the man with many hats at yes. HCP. We are proud to carry their products. Currently, they are Fabrenza, Absorb, and Liposuct. Michael, would you be so kind and tell the viewers about HCP? Why uh, and how are you different? We're different because we don't regurgitate and, uh, you know, products of old, we take the very latest cutting edge science, the very best sources of ingredients, the most pure sources of ingredients that we could possibly get our hands on and make genuinely different products with those. Products that are purpose built to accomplish a, a very specific thing. Um, we're never gonna be like an A to Z line type of company. That's, that's really just not us. Okay, so you, you started with a purpose, right? Very much so, yes. If I remember right, this had to do with Fibrenza was the first one, right? Fibrenza was our flagship, yes. Mm -hmm. And it is different because unlike the common mm, proteolytic or common systemic, you guys cover the whole gamut from here to here. Um, Ab absolutely. Um, there's... In the last 15, 18 years, I mean, I mean, there's some formulas that have been out, out there for 45 plus years at this point. Um, then there was a, a lot of progress made about uh, 15, 20 years ago, um, coming up with different, finding new enzymes that were capable of doing more things in, with less volume and delivery systems started changing a bit and, and things like that. And that was kind of the thing. And then all, all, a lot of the companies that would come out with a new product, it was basically a regurgitation of the, of the last product, um, the last big thing. The, the and, new again, right? Right. And, and, in, and in speaking with a lot of different practitioners over the years, consumers too, for that matter, um, we learned something very quickly. There were a lot of people that were kind of frustrated with uh, a lot of, like especially in systemic enzymes, which was what Fibrenza is, in systemic enzymes, there were a lot of things that were frustrating. You're looking at, I mean, some products got to take handfuls at a time, uh, delivery systems that were so unreliable that some people were passing certain tablets or, or capsules, um, incredibly high doses. You had to take them three times a day. It had to be away from food. Um, some people would see amazing benefits, but some people wouldn't. So there was a lack of reliability in that case. Uh, price points that were starting on the retail end that were starting to exceed $150 plus for a 30 day supply. Um, there were a lot of things that frustrated a lot of people. And um, so taking it upon ourselves to try and improve upon that was really the, the our primary task with Fibrenza in making it our flagship product. Okay, so if you take it a little more technical, I noticed that there are some plant-based and there are some animal-based enzymes there. Yes, I noticed and that's some... very deliberate. Indeed. Uh, so we'll talk, talk about the pH issues and all of that. And that pH is actually a great point because that is a big factor. Um, as I touched on a moment ago, the, a lack of reliability and seeing a benefit uh, is, was a big frustration, both from practitioners as well as consumers. They're spending, like I said earlier, uh, up to $150 or more in some cases. They want to see results. And some of them did see results and some of them didn't. And there's a lot of factors for that. Um, as you mentioned, we have animal-based enzymes and plant-based enzymes in our product. And, and again, that is very, very intentional. Uh, the reason being is we are all different. I, I mean, there are two there are two different spectrums out there prior to Fibrenza. There were two spectrums. There were your plant-based enzyme products and your animal-based enzyme products, where this side um, will use ingredients like trypsin, chymotrypsin, and pancreatin as their primary active enzymes in their formula. And then in this side, you have people 
that are putting out plant-based products, and, and those would oftentimes go up to and include serapeptase, which is an awesome enzyme, um, as their primary active ingredient. And in both instances, some people respond really, really well, some people don't. And why, why was that? And it's because, as I mentioned, we are all different. We have, all have different metabolisms. We have different pH ranges. We have different blood types. All of those things are going to have a huge impact on how well a person is going to assimilate and utilize an animal-derived enzyme over a plant one and vice versa. And that's really where fibrenza shines. Fibrenza is the only systemic enzyme that's taken the most potent enzymes from both sources and combined them. And like you will not find a, another systemic enzyme out there, not one, that has trypsin, chymotrypsin, and pancreatin, as well as serapeptase, natokinase. Ours is the only formula that has superoxide dismutase in it. Ours is also the only formula that has Ciapros in it, and Ciapros is a tremendous enzyme. Um, very, very potent. In fact, there's a lot of people that will compare serapeptase to Ciapros. But if you do the research, or if you look into the research that's been done on the two, because they have been compared side by side, Ciapros uh, edges out serapeptase every time. But we have both, because we are a fan of both. Serapeptase is a great enzyme, but Ciapros kind of tops it. And having, those most potent enzymes from both sources means there's something for every metabolism, every blood type, every pH range to respond to. And it takes that hit or miss out of the equation as far as seeing a benefit, makes it far more reliable to the customer. And also gives us the ability to be the only guaranteed systemic enzyme on the market. Um, and that's a real big deal. Um, you have, uh, like I said, people making these large investments in, in, in these products. And, and mo don't get me wrong, lots of companies guarantee freshness and lots of them guarantee potency. And that's, that's really nice. We do too. But we do guarantee benefit. If a person tries our product and they don't see the benefits we're talking about, we do not want them paying for it, period. So let's say that. Why would a person want to pick Fibrenza, Fibrenza, you pronounce it, um, Numerous reasons, uh, very low dosing, way higher compliance, higher reliability of seeing success with the product. Um, no, I mean, I mean specifically, what's wrong with me so that I am the candidate that you say, oh yeah, oh. five brands are for you. Okay, so our biggest success stories are going to be with uh, chronic pain, inflammation, arthritis, scar tissue, um, Fibromyalgia certainly helped put us on the map. Um, we have a lot of women that use it for uterine fibroids, fibrocystic breasts, uh, and there's a whole host of different cardiovascular benefits that come with it. Um, blood cleansing, artery cleansing, vascular inflammation, blood pressure modulation. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to use, in, I mean, for real viable reasons, use systemic enzymes. So actually, it's interesting. When I think about it, you just named all of the chronic inflammatory problems that most people don't associate with lifestyle, but are usually caused by lifestyle. Usually. It typically is, oh my gosh, I have uh, inflammatory problems, and it could be in the circulatory system, in the muscular, skeletal, mm -hmm. uh, digestive, wherever these problems may be. And they all will respond to the enzyme treatment, right? Absolutely. Every single one of those instances. Every single one of them. And, and, and it's really easy to do, too, because like systemic enzymes for a lot of years, they got a bad rap where you had to take handfuls of them at a time, three times a day. Um, I mean, with, with real-world dosing with Fibrenza, it's two capsules, two times a day, empty stomach. I mean, that could, will cover most of your more mild to moderate conditions, certainly. Um, and with real severe, more chronic cases, maybe go to three capsules twice a day. So less, less capsules per dose, less doses per day because of our delivery system, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's a much shorter time to wellness. You don't have to be on it for a month or two months or three months to start seeing the slightest hint of benefit. Um, most people will start, especially with your inflammatory conditions, most people will start seeing a difference in five, 10, 15 days. Well, okay, so I had a small operation or whatever, and so I have a scar 
actually no i have an open wound because yeah i had i either was in a car accident or i have a bullet wound or i have been cut open now what now definitely get on enzymes uh certainly certainly if 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 first and foremost if for no other reason just to get rid of that inflammation and put those tissues back into a state where they're much more apt to heal on their own. That's number one. And certainly from a, a, a pain standpoint, get rid of, you're not going to have pain without inflammation. So you get rid of one, you're going to get rid of the other. Um, and so curbing that inflammation would certainly help make your discomfort that you're experiencing a whole lot more bearable. Um, those are the more obvious reasons, but going up to and including the healing process and scar tissue formation, yes, you're gonna to wanna to get on enzymes too. Um, the, with the way that systemic enzymes work, it comes down to proteins, and scar tissue is certainly a protein-based matter. And so, like the instant a wound occurs, you're, you're immediately gonna have little strands of fibrous tissue that start to build and build and build and begin that healing and stop the bleeding or contribute towards stopping the bleeding, I should say, along with clotting factors and such. But um, that the, all the repair mechanisms are gonna form that scar tissue to heal that wound and, and eventually build up to form that scar that you see. All right. Now, you wanna take those enzymes to keep that from becoming excess scar tissue, from becoming a keloid like you, like you might see on the outside or to help prevent the formation of adhesions, which is internal scar tissue underneath the skin you want to keep that stuff from coming. And the systemic enzymes are certainly going to help in a huge way to keeping that from happening. All right. So talk to me about a person who would like to lose weight. I know one lady who was taking this uh, fibrinolytic enzyme for uh, fibroids, and she called and said, fibroids gone and all my stretch marks are gone too. Well, again, that would certainly stem from the scar tissue. Um, the fibroids, that is a huge success story of ours. Uh, we hear that one a lot. Uh, it's, we, a, lot of, a lot of emotional stories that come with that one, and it, it's pretty awesome. Um, but, yes, uh, stretch marks certainly would qualify. Um, anywhere where there's excess protein, that's the best way to put it. Anywhere where there's excess protein that, and, and protein that just simply doesn't belong. Scar tissue qualifies for that. Certainly fibroids qualify for that. I mean, if I, the makeup of a fibroid, yes, the cause is certainly different, but the material that makes up a fibroid is not all that dissimilar from the material that makes up scar tissue. Uh, and both of them are protein-based. Um, and and it, like I said, when, it, when, I, when I say it comes down to proteins, like when you look at a digestive enzyme form, You'll notice there's enzymes for fats and starches and carbs and sugars and all that stuff. When you look at a systemic enzyme, you'll find the vast majority of those enzymes are proteolytic or protein eating in nature. And the reason for that and the reason why they do what they do once they get into our blood is not because of their capabilities by themselves, because enzymes really don't know anything. It's your body that gives the enzymes their brains and sends them where they need to go. And that is all done through the realization of what kind of protein is it. Every protein-based cell in the human body is tagged by the body as either an endogenous protein, meaning it's supposed to be there, or an exogenous protein, meaning it's not supposed to be there. And your body will only disperse the enzymes to go after and break down those proteins that have been specifically tagged as exogenous, the ones that don't belong and it will disperse those enzymes to go after and break down whatever shouldn't be there. Mentioning that wound and the healing and the scar tissue formation and all that stuff that I touched on earlier, you can take all the enzymes in the world and it'll eat up all the excess scar tissue on the outside. It will eat up all those adhesions on the inside, but it will never eat up so much that it reopens that wound. And that's because your body has specifically said, these cells are necessary to keep these, this wound healed. So right. it's your body that makes the enzymes smart. Right. So and what it means really is that the scar is seen as not me, whereas the normal tissue is seen as me. Yeah. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. So uh, I've heard people telling me, oh, but I don't want to take enzyme every day because I don't want my body to get lazy and stop making them. I think it's dunderheaded, but you tell me from what you know. 
that is, yeah, your, your body's not going to stop producing enzymes. Um, it's not, that's not how they work. And it, enzymes go back to our birth. When, when we are born, we are born with this huge supply of enzymes already inherent within us. And through our childhood, our body is not shy about producing these enzymes and taking these enzymes that we get from food and diet and things like that and using them by the truckload. And it does use them by the truckload. And that's why when we're five and 10 and 15 years old, we'd be running around and we trip and fall and hurt ourselves and get right back up and keep doing whatever it was that hurt us in the first place. But you might notice when we're 40 or 50 or 60 years old, it just isn't quite that same way. And the whole difference is enzymes. And that's because of a lot of changes that take, that take place through our life. Um, some real big changes certainly happen in our late 20s or like 28, 29, 30 years old. A lot of big changes take place. Our aging process kicks into high gear at that point. But also, too, our body takes inventory. And our body says, hey, if we keep using these enzymes at the rate that we did through our youth, we're not going to have any by the time we get to 40 or 50 or 60. So instead of using them by the truckload, it starts to use them by the spoonful. And that's why when we get older, pain is more debilitating, recovery times take longer, scars are more visible. It's all because of enzymes. So supplementing with a systemic enzyme puts that huge supply back in play again. And our bodies quickly adapt to that and they say, hey, wow, now I look at all these enzymes that we've got right now, but there's more where that came from. And so our body starts to feel more free to use them again in a similar manner to the way it did when we were young. And that's why they work so well for pain and inflammation and arthritis and scar tissue and so on. And as far as production goes, yes, as, our, as, our, as we age, our production does diminish, but it will not go away because we still have 8,300, and I think that's the last count, 8,300 different chemical reactions within the body that rely solely on enzymes to help make happen. Enzymes are catalysts, and none of those chemical reactions will take place without them. So we are still going to be producing enzymes. Okay. I guess that's probably why most professional athletes end their career careers in their late 20s or early 30s, because they just simply run out of the ability to keep to going. Recover. To recover. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So tell me this. Fibrenza, somebody should be on it or guy like me should be on it all the time really because that yeah. is that is the prescription for maintaining the function that i would like to have recovery prevention of uh, decline scar tissue that's hardening of things immune system modulator blood pressure modulator uh car blood cleanser artery cleanser uh re keeping vascular inflammation in check um I mean, there's a lot of things that happen, especially like in your microcirculatory areas of your body, those, those fine hair-like capillaries all throughout the body, in your eyes, um, cold hands and feet, numbness and tingling in your extremities. That's a real thing that hundreds of thousands, millions of people go through. Um, and that comes down to circulation, period. Um, so helping maintain those things. Um, but yes, it isn't just for a chronic condition. You don't need to, oh, I have this illness, so now I need systemic enzymes. I have no chronic conditions at all. I mean, I'm not a, a monument to all that's healthy and righteous in the world, but knock on wood, I don't have any chronic conditions. I still take Fibrenza every single day. I take it as a, at a very low dose. Honestly, I have an abundance of access to it, so whatever lands in my hand, one or maybe two capsules twice a day. But I take a low dose, and I do that daily, and, and twice daily. But if uh, something happens, like I do a lot of mountain biking, and unfortunately I'm not that good at it. So I'm prone to taking the occasional spill. But when I do, I will, instead of taking that small dose, I will up my dose to three or maybe even four capsules twice a day. Just for a few days, take that edge off and get me right again. Very rarely does anything settle in on me. Even more simple things like, um, like I wake up wrong, I, I slept wrong, I have a kink in my neck or a sore back. I will up my dose and I'm right as rain a day, two days, three days later at the most. Um, sore throat, same thing. Runny nose, same thing. I up my dose. Um, but maintaining with that low dose keeps the levels in your body to a at a higher level so that when you do 
put that higher dose in, your body's ready to send those exactly where they need to go. When somebody starts on enzymes for the very first time, there's what's called an activation period. Um, different products have different length times of activation periods that has to do with the potency, um, the blend itself, and uh, the, del the delivery systems as well. And so some products might be, you know, a month or two months of an activation period before you can expect to start seeing that benefit. Um, with Fibrenza, it's more like five or 10, especially with your inflammatory conditions, like five or 10 days, 15 days maybe at the most. Would it be advisable to take a higher dose at first? Um, that certainly wouldn't hurt. Uh, and it's in, depending on what you're taking it for, they could actually potentially have the potential of speeding things up a bit. So yes, that, that could apply. Um, but there's two sides to that too, because there are some people that have certain sensitivities and things like that, where it may not be the right call for them to, you know, start taking four capsules twice a day out of the gate. Um, for those people, it may be more appropriate to start out more gradually or in a more gradual manner and, and very, like every, you know, start at one capsule twice a day, empty stomach for three to five days, and then up to two capsules twice a day for three to five days and so on. That might be more appropriate for some than others. Okay. Let's talk about the product that we call Absorb. It sort of looks a little bit like a digestive enzyme or sort of looks a little bit like a probiotic, but you're calling it a, a systemic so yes, it does have digestive enzymes in it, yes, but it is not a digestive enzyme product. It does have probiotics in it, but it is not a singular, singularly a probiotic product. Um, Absorb is all about front to back, top to bottom, gut health. Um, and, it's, and it's a very simple premise. You have, you have your people out there that do their day-to-day -day and they eat their meat and potatoes and they, you know, go to McDonald's and things like that. And, and that works and that's great. And then you have the people that may have done that before or maybe not, but are making a huge investment in their health. They are doing the right things right. And they are exercising. They are taking the right, uh, eating the right foods and taking the right supplements. Not in, in either case, they never stop to put their gut into a place where they're really able to get all those things that they're doing especially the people that are making that investment. That's a large investment. Farmers markets are not the cheapest places to shop. They're the cleanest places to shop. They are delicious and fresh and all that stuff, but they are not the, the cheapest. Um, it is an investment that, that, that they're making. And getting the most out of those things is a very big deal, but nobody really takes the time to go, oh, I'm just gonna switch my diet to this and start getting better stuff in me but is your body utilizing that better stuff? And that's really where Absorb comes in. Um, yes, it has digestive enzymes in it, but we are actually using the same capsule that we use for Fibrenza, protecting those enzymes so they stay intact as they travel through the lower acid levels of an empty stomach, get into the small intestine, release there, and are capable of doing a whole lot more than just digesting food. Because years of a poor or less than desirable diet years of a less than desirable lifestyle are going to wreak havoc on your gut. They're going to put a bunch of sludge and bile and garbage on those intestinal walls. Those walls are lined with little tiny fingers called villi. And those villi dictate your absorption of pretty much everything. And if they, get, if they start getting covered in this sludge and caked over and laying down flat, that's going to hurt their ability to pull those nutrients out of food, get the vitamins out of your supplementation get minerals, proteins, all these things. Those digestive enzymes are gonna release right there in those first 12 inches of your small intestine. It's called your duodenum. And that's where you have the highest chance of absorbing just about everything you put in your body. So those enzymes are gonna release right there and start breaking down all that gunk and bile and junk that's covering those intestinal walls. Get those villi standing back up on end like they should be, amping up your body's ability to pull these nutrients, these vitamins, these minerals, and so on, out of everything you're putting in. Um, those, those enzymes are followed up with ozonated magnesium oxide. And we're not using a huge amount in there because when you start talking about ozonated magnesium oxide, 
a lot of people start going, okay, am I going to need to have a bathroom within five feet of me at all times? That's not the case with this. It's very gentle. Um, we aren't using a huge amount to create that flushing action. Um, what we are trying to bring is two things to the table, a little bit of magnesium to help hydrate the intestinal tract and a little bit of that oxygen because oxygen is not only a great cleanser, but it's also a great alkalizer. And way too many people are out of whack as far as that acid alkaline relationship in the gut. So um, contributing towards alkalizing, contributing towards hydrating is the purpose of the magnesium oxide. And then it, after that, it is followed up with a bunch of probiotics plus a prebiotic to help put that good bacteria in play. And the feedback that we get on that product is absolutely all over the map. All over the map. There is no rhyme and reason rhyme or reason to the benefits that people call us with, that they're feeling with, uh, with Absorb. They're not changing anything about what they're doing. They're not, it sounds like they're changing their entire regimen or changing their entire diet. They're doing everything they've been doing all along. They're only adding Absorb. And Absorb, there's two separate stages of benefit with it. There's like, the first one is like three, four, five days after you start on it. During that time, it's correcting things. It's kind of riding the ship, if you will. And there is a real, genuine, tangible sense of wellness that comes with that. But then you fast forward just two or three weeks after that. And during that time, you have now gotten a whole lot more out of all your food, out of all your supplements, and all of those things that you've been doing for years and years in many instances. Now you're getting a whole lot more out of them and the way your body reacts is just staggering. I mean, I have people telling me they sleep better, better quality sleep, more restful sleep, deeper sleep, feeling that they got more out of their sleep that next morning, uh, more endurance to make it further into the day without feeling worn out and fatigued. Um, I had one guy call me and tell me his vision was improving. I had a woman I spoke with just two weeks ago, give or take a week and a half, two weeks ago that, um, she said her hair has never been the same. For the better? For the better. And it's all because of all these things that they've already been doing. Their body just never realized it. Okay. So I guess what I hear you telling me is this absorb will pay for itself in gold because as soon as you start taking it, everything that will follow it is going to be utilized at a better rate. Yep. Very so much so. Would you stay on it constant? Would it be like forever supplement? Yeah, I, I, I think it can be, absolutely. Certainly it's not going to hurt to do it. Um, there's, there's a few different ways to look at it. I have some practitioners that, that I work with that will say, here, congratulations, you're taking this for life. I have some practitioners that will say, hey, listen, um, this large bottle is a uh, two and a half month supply, and I just want you to take this one bottle. And then I have some practitioners that say, hey, listen, I want, you to, um, I want you to take this large bottle now, and then in six months, eight months, we'll give you another one. So they're you know, doing a, an, uh, an off and on maintenance with it. But yes, you can absolutely benefit from taking it daily. You can, if you are the type that does eat right and you aren't, you aren't polluting yourself with a bunch of things, then... Yeah, I mean, you can certainly get off of it and then get back on it a few months later. That You know what I mean? And, and do an, a quarterly or, or you know, semi-annual maintenance. Thing. I have plenty of practitioners that do it that way. But if you're, you know, really busy, you're totally swamped, and you're traveling constantly, and you're eating, you know, supersizing every third meal at McDonald's, you might want to, you know, you might want to get on other things too, but but uh, you might want to be on the the absorb. So the third product that is in the HCP line is called Lipicept, and it's actually quite different than the others, and it has a specific purpose. Which the the first two we discussed, the Fibrenza and Absorb seem to have a gener general health effect on the body. Mm -hmm. But seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, the Lipicep seems to be designed with one thought in mind. That's exactly right. Helping, helping to uh, manage and reduce cholesterol. Reducing cholesterol issues in general is, is, the, is the premise behind Lipicep. 
So I guess this would be the perfect alternative to the, um, oh, you have to take a statin drug for the rest of your life, sir. I absolutely cannot say that. <laughs> um, but I do have a lot of practitioners that are, let's just say, recommending this first before. And, and I'll tell you what, truth be told, I think that it actually comes in many cases from, uh, from end user preference. Listen, what can I try before I go down that road? What can I try? And, and Lipicept definitely does fit the bill on that. Um, well, let me ask, does Lipicept uh, lower your coenzyme Q10 levels? Not at all. What are the other downsides of taking Lipicept? Zero. None. No there joint are, pains? No, no side effects, no contraindications, no interactions with anything. Um, it is very, very clean product, very, very safe product. Uh, it doesn't interact with anything. Even if you are on a statin, you can take this right alongside it. It's not going to interact at all. Um, it is very clean and safe product and it, it, it works differently than a statin. The, the product is very much focused on making the liver more efficient in the way that it accepts the cholesterol that we add, the way that it processes and synthesizes that cholesterol and the way it redistributes cholesterol back into the body by more efficiently sending the good cholesterol back in and the bad cholesterol out. Um, whereas certain other things out there work by, on suppressing certain functions that the liver has. I mean, cholesterol begins and ends in the liver, plain and simple. And a lot of, there's a lot of things out there that are specifically focused on one of the most efficient processes in the human body, which is the liver's ability to produce exactly the amount of cholesterol that the body, that that body needs. It's one of the most efficient processes in the human body, and there are a lot of things out there that are specifically targeting on suppressing that efficient that that efficiency. So, how effective is it? Like when somebody shows up and says, "Oh, I've been told I have total cholesterol 300. My LDLs are high." What do you hear from the field? Well, that's the cool thing with with this product. I mean, we work with a lot of doctors. Um, that's that in fact primarily with practitioners and, and different retailers around the country. Um, with that, we don't work with a whole lot in the way of consumers directly. So we don't have these tight relationships with a lot of them. Certainly if a consumer calls us up with a question about ingredients or dosing or things like that, of course we're gonna do everything we can to help them. But um, we don't have that tight bond with a lot of different consumers. And the reason why I mention that is because with this product specifically, we're seeing something that I've never seen before. We have consumers that are proactively calling us up and saying, hey, I have my before and after blood work from the lab. You need to see this. And, and where can I send it so that you can look at this? And, and the, the, the feedback we're getting is just, it, it's unbelievable. It, it's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, the worst results so far that we've had sent to us, the very worst, was a 19% drop in their total cholesterol in a period of 90 days. And so the average typical that you would estimate? Well, the best one that I've had sent to us, I've heard, I've heard more pronounced results than this, but the best results that I've actually read on paper from a lab um, was a 40% drop in 60 days. Um, so anywhere between there. And, and that, was, that 40%, by the way, wasn't just total cholesterol. That was specifically LDL, the bad cholesterol. So that's important to point out. Um, it is lowering the bad cholesterol. It is lowering, lowering total cholesterol. We are seeing reductions in triglycerides. We are seeing an increase in HDL. That's the good cholesterol. That's the number you want to see go up. And we are seeing an increase there too. All right. So let's say it this way. If you are told that your cholesterol is too high, you can try and adjust your diet. Then you can also try and add Lipicept to it and give it 60 days. Have yourself well, retested. Have yourself retested, and uh, let's see what your doctor says then. Absolutely. And, and we, now we do recommend a ninety-day course on the product. Um, that being said, just like our other two products, it is completely guaranteed product. But like like you mentioned earlier, with Absorb, with Fibrenza, those are a, a, a subjective benefit. It's entirely up to I to the consumer. Do I feel different? And that that is true. 
and we still stand behind it and, it, and we guarantee that they will. With this, our guarantee is very, very simple with this. Check your numbers before, check your numbers after. If you don't see a difference, we don't want you paying for it. And what's really cool is the product's been out since, uh, I think, June of 2016. We still have not had a single bottle returned. Not one. I mean, hey, hey. <laughs> I know. I, it's, it's, it's really, really awesome. Um, it is incredibly reliable. Um, and it's not based around red yeast rice. It's not based around niacin. Um, red yeast rice, if you look at the long-term side effects from using red yeast rice, you're going to see that it reads very similar to the, let's just say the fine print at the end of a Lipitor commercial. Right. It's no different, really. The mechanism of action is practically identical. Practically identical. Um, but ni niacin certainly has its fair share of baggage too. Do they work? I'm not going to say they don't work. There's tons of research to say otherwise. Of course they do, to an extent, for most people. Um, but they do bring a lot of baggage with them. Um, this, this product has no baggage, no side effects, no inter interactions, no contraindications with anything. And again, we recommend a 90-day course on it, but we're seeing, we've seen benefits at 30 days. We've seen benefits at 60 and 90 days too. Um, and we will stand behind the product completely regardless. If, if even in 30 days, if they come back and say, hey, it didn't do anything for me, okay, we got your back. Well, thank you very much, Michael. This has been a pleasure and a delight to hear about HCP formulas and products and what you have to say. This is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. You can catch us at www.life-enthusiast.com and you can call me at 866-543-3388. Thank you for listening to us today.